What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a modern cube draft here on Magic the Internet slash Cube Draft. Turd Fergus. I don't know what I'm saying there. I guess it's just Coalition Relic here. Uh, Genesis Hydra is interesting. Main board is a word we use to troll you. <clears throat> it clearly is. You're like, you know the easiest way to tilt, Frank? Just say main board. That's all. I'm going to take this Coalition Relic. Garrick is awesome. You know what? You know what else is awesome? You. <clears throat> Zealous Conscript seems very good in this cube. Uh, the reason being that like, it's more of a fair cube, and Zealous Conscripts is a pretty unfair card, really. Arc like Phoenix is interesting. <clears throat> Can we Shahili? I think he means Sahili. But you know, Heller Smurd Perderson her with a quick, a quirk question. Is a Hort Durg a Cernwich? What's... <laughs> We're talking about white and modern and how it really doesn't have a place right now. I'm a snowfront in van, mainly because people don't need it so heavily as a sideboard color. White, really? Interesting. <clears throat> I'm going to take Zell's Conscripts. And I'm not even, gonna, I'm not even looking back. Is a hot dog a sandwich? A hurt a hort dorg is not a cern a cernwich. That's my Oh wow. I like Staff of Nin. I don't think we're coughing. Like this pack is just like pick a different color. I'm just taking the Staff of Nin, because if we, a turn three coalition relic is a turn four staff. I don't think we're necessarily blue. I don't think search is I don't I don't think Search is like going to pull me in another color good. I think it's good. I don't think it's pulling me in another color good. Uh, no one really plays Martyr Proc. <clears throat> Martyr, interestingly enough, Martyr Proc is one of those fringe, like, tier, like, 2.5 modern decks that, like, it could just win games. We have those concerts. We have a Staff of Nin. Could just thing in the ice, or is it charm, or dreadhorde arcanist? I don't like. I don't love dreadhorde arcanist. I think your options are just too limited with dreadhorde arcanist. The Atarka tabling would be nice. I also don't hate glint sleeve summoner, but like, your your ways of getting energy in the cube are literally restricted to this. So it's like, maybe every other turn or two I can draw a card, but maybe not. Who knows? I guess it's probably Corsair's probably the best card in this pack. Maybe Mindstone. I want to take the Mind Stone. I still want to commit to green here. I don't think I have to. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? How's this cube, you rude, crude bag of pre-chewed food, dude? <laughs> wow, that was ex that was excessive. <clears throat> I think Tireless Tracker is a card that will make me go into green. Uh, Glorybringer is also very, very good. I'm going to take the Glorbringer. Again, like, I still don't feel like I'm... I have any reason to get out of the, the red here. <sighs> Rockin', rollin'. Oh, Vivian Reed I like a lot. Terastodon's pretty good. <clears throat> Please don't talk about my, my bare hands on stream. Vivian Reed is good. I like Vivian Reed a lot. Yeah, Glorybringer is actually a, a fantastic card. Like, it's just a flying Shriek Maw with haste that's really hard to deal with. And and it's a repeatable Shriek Maw as well. Oh, Woodfall Primus? I'm definitely taking Woodfall Primus here. We're looking for a Through the Breach at some point. Sort of Body and Mind? I'm actually going to take the Sort of Body and Mind. Dragonlord Tarka did come back? Yep. All right. So we're, we have a plan now. Nissa? Nissa? Yeah, we're just missing. Um, <clears throat> so here's the thing. Tarmogoyf is actually not great in cubes, I don't think. Although maybe it's fine. Yeah, it's Flametongue Kabu. Right, it's basically Flametongue Kabu. Good call, good call. It's not good. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm going to take this. Uh, whatever. Uh, Jund, maybe.
<coughs> Rockin' the rolling all night long. He's a 60 minute man. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, you can definitely tell the last song that was playing on the break <coughs> by the song I Can't Stop Singing. Show us that white has a place in modern. Veraska? Veraska has a place. <clears throat> Olivia Voldaren has a place. Are we just Jund? Misty Rainforest. Noble Hierarch is decent. This pack's pretty bad, pretty bad for us, unfortunately. These are both maybes. Can you get demonetized for singing on stream? I don't know, because you're never going to sound... No, it's like... Sword or Forest? For it, Misty Rainforest doesn't actually get us anything. I don't see the Noble Hierarch, because at worst it's just a Llanowar Elf. And we already have one sword. I don't think we need two swords. I want a Noble Hierarch here. Elves of Deep Shadow. Yeah, all Elves of Deep Shadow, sure. I'm I'm down to clown in Elf Town. Lava Coil? Lava Coil seems good. Find Finality also seems pretty decent. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, let's just find finality. Poly I think Pelucranos is, is actually underrated. I think people generally tend to dislike Pelucranos, and then I can always, like... I feel like I'm always crushing with Pelucranos. I'm like, well, I guess I'll just play this big dumb idiot, and then it just ends up being bonkers. Because it's just hard to deal with a 5-5. Five five. Siege Gang is interesting. Golos is interesting. We're never going to be able to... I mean, we have Coalition Relic, actually. If we have three different color lands, Coalition Relic can provide the other five. The other three. Oh, I said five. Let's take Golos. Golos is literally just a five mana solemn simulacrum. I mean, let's be real, he can't he doesn't draw you a card when he dies, but still. I'm a rockin' a rollin' all night long. It also gets us a black source, which is nice. I think Lightning Strike is good here. I mean, it's not exciting, but. Oof. <clears throat> Let's Fertile Ground. Fertile Ground seems great here. How are we looking on Planeswalkers? We have technically two and a half. One, two, three. I mean, what's our other option? Like, Duskwatch Recruiter? I think Immortal Sun's good. Noble Hierarch does help the Golo stream. It's a lot of five drops. Thankfully, we have... Coalition Relic and Mindstone and some ramp. This deck is interesting. I don't think it's good yet, but I, I don't I don't dislike it either. So it's very it's like this weird nebulous area. Is Registor good though? Like what are we discarding here? I mean seven six is just humongous. I don't know if we got a Reggie deck. I don't know what the Reggie decks are looking to do. No, there's no rhythm of the wild in this cube as far as I know. Oh, Sword of Feast and the Famine comes back. No one respects swords. It's really interesting. Or Polychronos, for that matter. <clears throat> I think Knight of Autumn's fine. Maybe we play it. Whatever. I mean, we have Noble Hierarch and Coalition Relic so far. Mm-hmm. <coughs> 
60 minutes, bam, doot, doot. Wolfier Silverheart is also a card that just wins games out of nowhere. <clears throat> Maybe Wildfire is too. Master of the Wild Hunt is nice. Where are my lands? I know we passed an Overgrown Tomb and a Stomping Ground. That's unfortunate. So the only thing I think we haven't seen is a Blood Crypt. I don't think. I think it's just Master of the Wild Hunt here. This pack's kind of unexciting. I don't want to go too deep on the black when we don't know what we're doing yet. He said in the third pack. Uh, Marsh Flats. Golgari Signet actually seems great here. Let's take a Golgari Signet. Domri Anarch of Bolas is interesting. Every time I play Master of the Wild Hunt, I'm like, can you kill it? Alright, well, you're probably dead then. Like, I don't care about Lightning Strike. I don't care about two swords, but I like having the second because it's nice. Same with Huntmaster. Like, I'm a big Huntmaster fan. I almost like it over Lava Claw Reaches because we only have, like, two black cards. And along we have a Golgari Signet of Fertile Ground and a Coalition Relic already. I think I just want Huntmaster to be quite honest. <clears throat> Jiraga Tree Speaker seems great. Tooth and Nail seems great, but we're not a Tooth and Nail deck. We only have Dragon Lord of Tarka. <clears throat> we are a Dragon Lord. We are a Jiraga Tree Speaker deck, however. We could also be a Seasoned Pyromancer deck. Now we're a tree speaker deck for sure. Rootbound crag, I like a rootbound crag. I like Nissa Vital. Nissa Vital Force is all right actually, but this pack is pretty weak, so I'm definitely okay taking a rootbound crag. <clears throat> I don't think we need a leather land. I think three is three is my limit. Is Overrun good here? We have token token. No, not really. We're not really a token deck, unfortunately. I don't think it's Abbot of Carol Keep either. I think it's just Elvish Mystic, I guess. Mirror Entity could be fine. We just don't have that much way to splash white. We just have Noble Hierarch and Coalition Relic, really. I'm just going to take the Overrun. I think it's just nice to have Arbor Elf. Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph is a pretty easy pick here. Nissa who shakes the world and a mere battle sphere. This text that's real nice. Is it possible possible Nissa's just as broken in modern cube as she is in real life? Yeah, Golos lets us splash the man, but I don't want to add like a planes just for a Golos. Like that just seems worse, especially when we're like probably splashing one swamp instead. I think I actually want Mere Battle Sphere. Like, because we don't have anything to really take advantage of. If we had, like, Eldrazi, I would, like... Uh, this Nissa is not foil. Sorry, Bulamog. I really... We have a bunch of ramp. We have these three guys. We have Mindstone, Signet, Fertile Ground. I really just want big things to ramp into. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse is good. I like this Soren a lot. Let's take Olivia Voldaren out. I think we're probably just splashing for this and this. Temple Garden actually makes the the Golos a little more reasonable. Let's see this Razor Razor Verge thicket. Interesting. <coughs> 24 cards, 13 creatures, which is nice. Vraska makes creatures, so that's 14 creatures, technically. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
So we're going to make cost seven seven six 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 five 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 four four four. Metamorph is going to be three most of the time. We need one cut. I don't want to cut anything. I think this is a forty. I think we can do forty one here. I don't think that's a really a problem. <coughs> Golos searches for any land, so we don't actually need a planes. Wow, two red sources and four black sources. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's even. That's weird because they're both five of each. There's one, two, three, four, five black sources represented, and one, two, three, four, five red sources. Okay, we'll put in the Temple Garden because it's just an easy splash. I'm probably going to not play Razor Verge Thicket because I don't think I want... Yeah, we can probably just go to one. We have a Golgari Signet here. Eight, nine, ten. That seems good. One, two. So seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, thirteen, sixteen. Just like this, right? This seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven red sources plus Coalition Relic. Yeah, there's no island in here, which is good. No planes. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. I'm okay with it. play first. You know what? I'm going to keep this hand. I mean, one more land we can play. Coalition Relic. Um, I don't think... I, like, we have Elves of Deep Shadow. We have a Swamp. We have Black Cleave Cliffs. Uh, we have Coalition Relic. And we have Golgari Signet, right? So, Elves, Black Cleave, Swamp, Signet... Relic. Like, that's five sources of black for, like, essentially two black cards, Vraska and Maelstrom Pulse. We also have Golos, which can get the black to lead into Vraska. So that's basically six ways to get a black source. <clears throat> and Fertile Ground. So seven ways to get a black source. Because um, I don't really see us playing Finality. I think we're using Fine just to get back two guys. I see. We can wait. <clears throat> a lot of people just like slam the counter. Sometimes I do too. Uh, Compy Relic, please. That's not bad. That's a significant amount of mana. Sure. Sure, that's just fine. Charge it up. <coughs> oh, how nice. I will say a green mana. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, because upheaval is not legal in modern, Phil. Um, one, two... Do we just play Master? Master's got to be better than Hunt Master, right? I'm just hoping. Like, they can't treachery it, so I'm not too worried about that. We have Maelstrom Pulse, so. Uh, how does a copy... Uh, so if it's flipped, it will never flip... It will never flip back. It will never flip into the other thing. This guy's 100% dead. Frost Titan? This is going to be Frost Titan. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we get to go Phyrexian Metamorph copy this dude. And then kill it. Which seems great. They're going to draw two, which is... 
It's fine. Oh, wow, that was terrible. <laughs> no one does that. Ah, oh, I'll close this. That shouldn't pop back up. Wow, did anyone else see that? I totally missed that. That was not uh, an ideal. That was not an ideal outcome. Wow. That's definitely not a shame scoop. God, that part of Pulse is so rarely relevant. I actually forgot, like, I forgot how few times, like, I've ever pulsed something and, like, oh, I was so excited, too. Dang. So, <clears throat> for those who don't know, because it, is, it isn't relevant a ton, destroy a non-land permanent all other permanents with the same name as that permanent. So... Dimitri, I would even say less than 10% of the time, for sure, but, like, it's still part of the card, man. I like that some people in the chat are like, wait, what happened? Because, <laughs> like, they, like, totally forget about that line, dude. <clears throat> I mean, we could have actually put Sword of Body and Mind on, uh, on, like, the Master or the Wolf, so... Oh god, something's happening. Something's happening. Okay. That's not terrible. Rockin'. Rolling all night long, he's a 60 minute mic. Sixty minutes of blow in my top pop 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 sixty Sort of body and mind Sort of body and mind do do <coughs> Alright, let's get in there. Kill this guy, and now no blocksies. Show me what you've got. Yeah, this is fine. Badger, what's going on, buddy? We kind of did draft Wolf Tribal. <laughs> wolves, wolves, wolves. Kind of a wolf. A weird, creepy wolf. Okay, so Jace the Mind Sculptor, Temporal Mastery and Time Warp, Consecrated Sphinx, Elspeth Sun's Champion, they also have Coalition Relic, Duplicants, Sphinxes, Revelation, Orzhov Signet, Golgari Signet, and Simic Signet. There's a lot of things. Their deck seems good. Do I want to bring in this Knight of Autumn? I don't know. Had the worst night's sleep badger. So sorry, buddy. Wait, we're not even playing Woodfall Primus? I th Why isn't this in our deck? Did that go straight to the sideboard? That's weird. It's kind of expensive, but still very, very good. It can also kill a Jace Bellerin. Night of Autumn's also good. Oh, man. Um, let's bring that dude in. Like, I feel like we could actually just bring in um, the Razor Verge Thicket. And then we have Coalition Relic, Razor Verge Thicket, Temple Garden. 
Noble Hierarch, that's four white sources, plus Golos. I mean, you'd have to... I'd have to cut something else, maybe. <laughs> so hit your signets. Oh, no, baby. I think we can play like this. I don't want to be able to mess up the mana base. <clears throat> oh, I agree with you. Sword of Body Mind is legit the one of the strongest um, swords in the cube. In, in Limited. What's on the agenda? Uh, probably this modern cube. And then I'm going to get out of here because it's late and i got to get ready for Fran's podcast. Um, Badger, we can probably do your deck on like Monday if you want. be I feel like this light's flickering, but it's hard to tell. Coalition Relic. Give me a Vivian Reed. That'd be such gas. Sell us conscripts. One, two, three, four. We have five mana. They're going to hit Terminus right off the top. You guys ready? Your Monday sounds good. I'll be sure to be up Tuesday. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <clears throat> so one, two, three. All right, they don't have a ton of mana here. A Vraska would be nice. A, sta a Staff of Noon would be nice. Immortal Sun would be nice. Forest, it's not as nice. Don't settle the wreckage me, bro. Okay, they didn't. Sixty minute man. Do, 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 do. Shoot you in the face. <clears throat> Six power on board plus a zealous conscripts. It's basically nine power on board. Ideally, they play something big that doesn't really impact me that much. Well, that's that's sad. Is it a four four? It's got to be a four four, right? It's a two two because the card is a two two. Okay. Sixty minute man. All right, <clears throat> here we go. No terminus, no wrath of gods, nothing, nothing that's really scary. How about that? Oh god, there we go. That's not really scary. I think you're dead. I think you have died today. <laughs> Zealous conscriptos. 
Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it. Remand. Uh, I have the sad. I still feel okay, except for all the cards they've drawn from Consecrated Sphinx and Remand and, you know, things of that nature. Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Oh, they're, they're digging for answers here. That's fine. If they were going to bounce me your Battle Sphere, I'd be like, okay. Oh, and we win the game, even despite our Phyrexian Metamorph Maelstrom Pulse hiccup. <clears throat> If you guys haven't done so, you should definitely consider subscribing. If you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely head on over to twitch.tv slash franklaporn. Throughout the month of September, it is also known as Subtember, and all your new subs are two fifty dollars instead of $5, which is a great deal. It's an insane deal, and it's a great way to support the channel. If, uh, if you guys want to sub support on a more consistent basis without spending the $5 on Twitch, you can definitely check out patreon.com slash And uh, I have $1 and $2 tiers. Just as great ways to support the channel with, like, you know, not breaking the bank. So it's a dollar a month, two dollars a month, whatever you guys want to spend. And uh, you can find those at patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, every little bit helps, guys. If you guys are watching the content on YouTube every every day or a couple times a week, like, it's a great way to, to support that, that content. Oh, what up, Helior? Oh, because then, cause then Badger just gives out 10 gifted subs, because cause why not? Badger, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Kithian. Thank you. Also, if you guys are subbed, if you guys just got a sub recently, if you guys are new subs, uh, or if you guys join the $3 tier on Patreon, uh, you can join the subscriber Discord channel, which is super awesome. And it's a great way uh, to chat with other people from the stream and from YouTube. And uh, Badger has given out 271 subs in total. That's pretty insane. Thank you. That's pretty insane. Oh, come on, really? I got Maelstrom Pulse. That's good. It's okay. Thank you. Eh, I guess it's less okay because of this, but... So we gotta go one, two, three. Thank so this is like... Oh, man. One mana shy. Yep, all right. Well, <clears throat> so now we have blockers for two things. We can block this Thalia. I mean, Kithian's going to flip, but it doesn't, like, kill anything. Hundred percent. I mean, this is gonna flip. It's whatever. 
I mean, I have Glorybringer to attack it, like, just straight up attack Kithian next turn. Fatal Push seems good. Sure. For five. Uh, I guess we'll use two red instead. Yeah, this card's obnoxious. Not sure how to deal with it other than just blocking forever. Ashiok. That's pretty good. Maybe we can just steal it and negative five it. Ashiok's an interesting inclusion for this deck. One, two, three. This is actually pretty solid. <coughs> and we get to flip Nissa as well. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll make it a Shia here just to have enough creatures. I mean this is eight damage if they wanna if they wanna regenerate this guy. So they got a nine here. But if they have two removal spells, we die. So I guess that's that. That's one. <laughs> and that's two. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, God. Good times. Wow. Good times. In my face for trying to put a clock on them, I guess. Oh, uh, that was my phone, actually. Whose phone is that? I kind of want Lightning Strike in here, for obvious reasons. I mean, Night of Autumn seems good. They have... Uh, Journey to Nowhere. All right, let's see what this does. Two, a seven drop and a six drop and a metamorph. But we have all the colors, so I'm gonna keep it. I think we're probably gonna die here. <clears throat> um, how many subs am I at? Not as many as I'd like to be. <laughs> Not as many as I used to be. I don't know, it's weird. Despite like streaming regularly five to six days a week, despite putting regular videos on YouTube, despite having a Pro Tour top eight, a Grand Prix top eight, to, you know, like having a an illustrious magic writing history, like writing for Cool Stuff Inc., like, I feel like it's really hard for me to see any real growth, and I don't really understand why, unfortunately. What? No. One, two, three. There we go. Copy this Gonti. Oof. Um. Huh. Um. Third Sector, Anguished on making. Let's take Ashiok. <clears throat> I 
fantastic. They literally they literally took our knight to kill our. That's just sad. I too have something good. Ooh, we got a Thalion and a Danto Vanguard. Bounce the Gonti and attack Ashiok. Thankfully, they can't bounce. <laughs> Jesus, come on, Helior. Have a soul. Kind of want to hit a land here so we can staff of Nin this Gonti or this uh this thing. Well, that's not a land. Okay. We could bounce this and actually just cast it next turn, which seems bonkers. Sure. 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 One, two, three. Let's go Nissa. Get a land. Play the land. One, two, three. Destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Get our guy back. Copy Teferi? No. Copy Zealous Conscripts, right? Steel Teferi. I think they're saying something because of the ridiculous nature of this of this series of plays. Um And then we're just gonna gonna attack with Both of these guys. That is just fine. And then we'll bounce our own Zealous Conscript, our own, our own Metamorph. And now we have to. Oh, we have seven cards. We don't have to discard, which is nice. That felt like a good series of plays, especially when this Nyss is going to get flipped. Uh, Helior actually was one of the people who was trolling. That's that's actually funny that you mentioned that. Um, whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a negative one, negative one counter on this guy, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is problematic to deal with. Um... Make it a 4-4. Four, four. Also flips this. That's a land. That's a good land. That's a good land. It might just be Mere Battle Sphere. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. Because now we have blockers for days for this Mirror Crusader. Yep, I like that. <clears throat> That's colorless. 
And also we have find finality, so we can get back find and zealous conscripts next turn. Just colonnade, sure. Oust. Well, that was just rude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go mine stone. Man, pro black and pro green, pro pro black, pro green is a real piece of shit, right? That's real sad. I mean, these guys just shut down this guy. I'm not too worried about the dragon lord attacker. They have two cards in hand. I think we're way ahead right now. We could also just play noble hierarch and staff of Nin, and then shoot this guy, which I think is also fine. Copying Crusader seems fine. I'm just not... I'm not in love with it. <laughs> it's like... It just doesn't do anything for us, really. Because they're, like, playing a blue... Mostly blue-white deck, so it's not really... Okay, so I think they're actually just going deep with this Celestial Colonnade. Interesting. Hmm, look what it is. Well, look who it is. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mirror Battle Sphere. <laughs> and got in there for three. Get a load of the pair of balls on this guy. <laughs> so we can just deal them 8 to the face, then they have to block both of these guys. Plus they're taking 2, so they're 10. Well, now they're not taking 2. I'm just going to shoot that guy. Seems good value. Uh, okay. We, yes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll do it again. Yes. One, two, three, four. So they're just basically dead here, right? Even if they have, like, settled a wreckage. I don't think they do. I think they're dead. Can we bolt the Crusader? I'm going to save it for their face. Because if we go bolt the Crusader, then they settle. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, settles in the modern cube. <laughs> 
<laughs> now we're just having fun. I'm gonna crack this. Okay, it's just mountain. <laughs> okay, you got it. All right, we did it. We did it. That's what's known as the Exaxes. We showed Lightning Strike, they, straight, they showed Condemn. Hold on a second, let me do something. I think we're good like this. This hand is rough because it's very slow. They went from going being really aggressive in game one to, to not so aggressive in game two. I'm going to keep this on the draw. I think it's fine. That's actually nice. High rock off the top still. I'll take it. Oh, seven drop. Seems good. I mean, with a land, we can actually go relic into Thalia. That's obnoxious because we have a glory bringer. So, you know, got that going for us. I guess we can just go Vraska, kill it. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, well. In my face, I guess. Hitting another land seems good, because then we can just kill the Thalia, but... Just creatures, number of creatures, yep. Oh, look, they have look, they have that guy. If we hit a land, we can actually go relic and knight. Which is pretty yep, now we fucking can't. Wow, this is really obnoxious. Wow, that's really obnoxious. We can't play Vivian Reed to kill this. <laughs> wow, that's annoying. I have one card though. I think we're actually okay. Glory Ringer enters tapped because of this. Yeah, all right. Let's say black, I guess. No, we'll say white. Right? I don't know. I don't think it matters. 
White at least lets us play Knight of Autumn if we want to. We can go Knight of Autumn, kill this, get a Pelucranos. They both come into play tapped because of this. Ugh. But then we can actually kill this Thalia. It might be Vraska kill this Thalia, to be quite honest. Because they can't bounce it. Oh, are we just dead? Yeah, I think we're just dead. This Thalia is a real pain, dude. One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure this Thalia, this Thalia, and this Teferi all just locked us out of this entire game. We have seven mana. We can do three, and that's pretty much it. We can kill this. They both come into play tapped. Knight to gain life doesn't do anything. Like It comes into play tapped, so we go to 11. They attack us for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then, like, we have no real follow-ups. Like, we can't deal with Colonnade in any efficient manner. Because this is going to be on the board next turn, so we're not going to be able to kill this next turn either. We have one, two, three, four mana left over. If we had five mana left over, we could actually Pelucranos and kill this. But both of our creatures would be in play anyway, so it's, like, really not... Yeah, they had to hit Colonnade and like and Teferi and like, like it was just the perfect storm of like ways to hold us back every single turn. And they can also just bounce something next turn. Whatever. Anyway. Snap keep. Yeah. Helior, good games, buddy. That was an extremely frustrating. Dr. Katz, big fan of your show. You have lost that match, but you're still a winner to us. That's all I really care about. That's all I want, guys. Golgari Signet. Sell us conscripts. I'm really tempted to Golos here. What up, Kanji? Long time no see, buddy. Uh, land. We have white, red, black, and green. We also have one, two, three, four, five. This would be six. This would be seven. If we had a blue source right now. God, don't even get me started. Dr. Katz is from your local store? Get out of here.
<laughs> oh, spectral procession. Uh, Golos could definitely get a blue forest if we had a blue source in our deck to go find. Womp, womp, womp. One, two, three, four. Pelucranos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can deal three. We can just shoot all these guys, which makes me want to kill the three minute spectre. Specter. Y'all got any of them blue sources? I'm just going to take three here because if we master one of them, like we can actually wipe their whole board by mastering the Thraben Inspector instead and then Pelucranosing on the Spirits. We're just going to do it on their turn, because if they want to, like... Pulse second mode relevant. Because if they have, like, a, a removal spell in response, I'd rather them use it on their turn. Or tap out. Yeah. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, X is currently three. Done. One, uh, one, three. Okay. Kill them all. Yeah, it's fine. We have pulse again. Monastery Mentor, huh? And a Smuggler. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Better crew. You got to crew. Crew. You've got to crew just to make it today. Sure. I'll eat that copter.
boy, that's something. That is something. Okay, well. So we could steal this guy. Can we kill them here? One, yeah, I think we can. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, yeah, so we can go one, two, three, four, five. Sell us conscripts. Oh, we get that. We lose our own wolves, though. So I don't know. So actually, eight plus. Yeah, they would have been dead. They would have been way dead. Ah, oh, God, the night of autumn seems good again. Night of autumn seems good again. Let's bring in the thicket. And it leaves us with what? One, two, three, four sources of the. We can get it with Golo, so five sources. Yeah, that seems fine. Was that an MC Hammer reference on your breath? We got to pray just to make it today. Yes. Yes, it was. <clears throat> uh, snap it off. Wow, turn two sword of body and mind? That seems really good. I thought they were going to skip their first turn. Did we forget to sideboard something out? Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think I think people like they get they get really uh they get really aggressively crazy about when you have play when you play more than 40 cards. Um but the actual number of times where it will have any effect on your games whatsoever is so minuscule that it's like, you'd be all right. Oof. That's a big oof right there. Oh, I think it's a bolster onto it. Wow, that's aggressive. You got it. Do, 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 do. It's a lot of things, man. Oh, that's fascinating. We could shoot this just to get rid of it. I think we're just making bodies. Let the bodies hit the board. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think there's any cards that are getting us out of this one, so we're just going to go to the next game. Let's bring in Lightning Strike, because you have a bunch of nerds that... Uh... Fine Finale is actually decent for killing all your guys, I guess. Take out the Immortal Sun, you seem kind of slow. Take out... Got to pray just to make it today. Maybe it is just fine finality. I like Zealous. Yeah, this hand's not exciting, but it's fine.
Oh boy. I mean, it's not it's not really a Golos plan though. Like, it's still a five mana guy that gets you a, a free land, and it's a three five. So it's like, Golos by himself is still just fine. The old Sackett in response, a classic, a classic irrelevant move. Oh, well, that's pretty cute. Ooh-wee. I was going to play Pelucranos, but... You know what? Sure. I don't know what's going to happen here, but... I don't think there's any, like, sacrifice of creature effects. Yeah, okay. Well, we get to get a black source here, which is fantastic. Oh, wow, that was really nice. Okay, we'll take two. So they can put counters on it, then kill the Vraska. One, two, three, four. We can go Zealous Conscripts, untap a land, Metamorph, Zealous Conscripts, steal. Nothing really seems great here. Oh, no, wait. Actually, if we kill the Banalish Marshal, this becomes a 1 1 and they actually can't kill the Vraska. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, yes. Well, they could they could put a counter attack for two and shoot it, but that's like their whole turn. Which is alright, I guess. Oh, they did not do that. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Hachi machi. So we could conscripts. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no way to kill them here, right? I mean, we're just going to play this for sure. Oh, no, this is. Oh, no, this is the four, five. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Oh no. Oh no. Oh geez. Oh no. <laughs> God. One, two, three, four, five. We can zealous conscripts, untap a land, metamorph, copy zealous conscripts, steal this. We don't have the mana for Dragon and Metamorph. Ooh, 
We can't steal it, then steal, steal the spear. We don't have enough. We don't have eight mana. We only have seven mana, guys. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to go about this is. Seven mana. How much damage is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven damage is not is not enough. Like I think we're one hundred percent putting fertile ground on here. That gives us eight mana next turn, which is these two guys at least. One, two. The problem is if they kill the glory bringer, it's pretty bad. So we can conscripts untap this, and then we still have three. Play metamorph, copy the conscripts. Steal something? Nothing. Nothing is worth stealing here. I think we do get to keep this if it transforms. It doesn't exile. Um, Battle Cry always goes on first. All right, <clears throat> here we go. We can also play both of these next turn, so. Okay, this is this is going at Braska. This is going at my face, maybe. Face, Braska, Braska, Braska. All of these are going to. Uh, okay, that's fine. Like they just want Braska dead, so I will take four pretty easily here. And now the game has come to its conclusion. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five. Glory be. Um, one, two, three. Copy you. Steal you. Attack with everybody. Battle cry goes on first. Oh, wow, I didn't exert there. So they get a free blocker. I don't think it matters, but... That's not what I wanted to do. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my god, we just barely made it. Gee, no, it's negative 5. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget patreon.com slash franklapoor. Uh, don't forget twitch.tv slash franklapoor if you want to subscribe. 250 for subscriptions during the months of September. It's a great deal and it's a great way to support the channel. 
Um, also, you can check out CoolStuffInc.com and use promo code FRANK5. And ManaTraders.com will get you 20% off the first three months of any subscription. You can find those links and promo codes down below in the description. So definitely check that out. Slam those like and subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.